I this think... is going to be one night that you are never going to forget. Uh, Jake, I, uh... Paulina, shower's all yours. Uh, Jake, Would I you... can explain it. There's a oh, person... Oh, Paulina, what, what in the hell are you doing here in, with my wife, in my house, with my towel? Your towel? Your... I'm sorry, I think you had a problem with that. <gasps> Yeah. Uh, 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 um. Hey. Um, uh, you know, I gotta tell you that 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 is disgusting. Uh, co cover yourself up. Whatever makes you happy. What's going on here? What do you think you're doing? I was uh, taking a shower. Well, I mean, that was after we. Um, you what? You what? what? After you what? We were cleaning the fireplace. That's it. Cleaning the fireplace. Yeah. Yeah. Well, pff, what a mess, huh, well, Paulina? Yeah, well, all of a sudden, you look like a jerk over test. So, what do you decided to have a weenie roast? No, no. He just needed to get cleaned up. You know, there was spilled everywhere. And, and, and he took it to my kids. Oh, you were just getting ready to take no, another one. No, 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 Jake, Jake, listen to me, listen to me. He was helping me. He was helping me. He was helping me. Oh, we had to clean up the food so, and get it clear so we could start. I, fire. What were you doing here in the first place? That's official police business. Oh, you, would you give me a break? It's true. He's my bodyguard. Oh, John, great. Look, I need five minutes. It's about Lori Michaels. Now oh, what? Well, she's spoken with that hotshot reporter. She's going to be on the 10 o'clock news tonight, trashing the hospital for killing her. Perfect herself. end to a perfect day. Well, the press is only getting one side of this. Now, they want the hospital physician, and they want details on how the boy died. We haven't even done an autopsy yet. Tell him to kiss off. John, that is no way to handle this thing now. You have to call a press conference tomorrow. I'll think about it. Well, while you're thinking, would you please sign this, the formal statement from uh, the hospital, giving their sympathies to Ms. Michaels and the chief of staff, you know. Did you write this? Mm-hmm. I can't sign this. Well, why not? Because I'm not going to lie. The worst part about it was just the way she kept tormenting me with Kirkland. You know, when I was trying to crawl out of there, I, I kept hearing him cry. I didn't even know if it was real or not. I just Oh, no, no, it's not a lie. Uh, you don't call it that. Well, what did you say? Uh, it's telling a productive and palatable truth. I want to make sure the media gets the right spin on this. Now, this is as straightforward as I can be. Listen. Bay City Hospital wishes to extend its deepest sympathies to Miss Michaels in regards to the death of her son. Uh, despite heroic efforts by doctors on duty that night, every, there was no way the child could have been saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to protect the hospital. There's no way we can sound too culpable or too, too apologetic. Oh, that's right, Lauren. Let's not feel sorry. A child is dead. His mother is heartbroken. I tell you what, I feel damn sorry. Well, John, you're going to be even sorrier if you don't handle this Stop the right way. Stop putting words in my mouth. 
Why? I mean, that is her job. Mother, please, I can handle oh, no, this. Not if Lorna, I appreciate you what like you're that. trying to do, but this is this is just no. It's not. Oh, no. You hired Lorna to represent this. I hired Lorna job. because she's very capable. But this is my call. Well, let her do what mm -hmm. she can. Mother, to help please, you. please, I can handle this. All right, okay. all right, all right. right. No, I'm doing my job. So am I. My patients come first. I sure hope he's ready to duck when this hits the fan. Why? What did it? What? What is he up against? Tell me. Oh, only a forest fire that's raging completely out of control. He's not doing a damn thing to stop it. Nor did my wife call back yet. Not yet. You want me to try her again? I don't bother. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to snap. It's, it's a lot of things. It's a lot. I understand. I read the article this morning in the paper about Lori Michaels. She really is going to sue the hospital? Well, it's starting to look that way. Can't somebody reason with her? She's, she's grief-stricken. She's angry. I just want John to do a little damage control, that's all. Well, he doesn't seem to be listening. No, he's impossible. He's putting his career on the line and everybody else's. I don't know who's going to get through to him. Because I'll tell you, when this thing crashes and burns, it's not going to be pretty. I'd better get back to work. Hey, how about uh, our dinner plans? No. Oh, Mother, I'm sorry. I give another time. Okay. See ya. All right, honey. All units, repeat. An APB for Justine Kirkland. She is considered violent and extremely unstable, possibly armed. Suspected of kidnapping. Your deranged mother. Take him, young Kirkland. If I knew that, I'd have my son back. You played right into Justine's hand, didn't you? You even allowed your own son to be, to be endangered. How could you do that? Unless she took you into her confidence. My mother needs help. My mother needs to be in a hospital. Yes, indeed she does. And Ryan would have had her in a hospital. You know damn well Ryan, he would once he had her in. Ryan doesn't give a damn about her. Got his stormtroopers running her down like some kind of animal. Animal? Oh, she's far worse than an animal. She tried to kill Rachel. She's a cold, blooded killer. And you, you, the ever dutiful son, you helped her out every step of the way, didn't you? You misled your brother. You misled Ryan. You misled the police authorities deliberately. Such thing. I was afraid if I crossed her that she would harm my son. There would have been no opportunity for her to get near your son if you turned her in. I, I, I didn't realize how sick she was. I think you did. I think you knew very well. You're much too bright. And far too... Well, you have much too great a self-interest. In fact, I think Justine realized a very deep wish of yours, Grant. Getting Victoria out of the way, I left you a, a free hand with Kirkland, isn't it? No, no, I, I, I had nothing to do with that. No. No? A weak son and a deranged mother, they make for very strange bedfellows, you know? I mean, sometimes a mother knows exactly what it is her little boy, her son wants, and he doesn't even have to utter a word. No! No, I try, I try to reason with her. Don't you understand? I had her back for the first time in my life. And she loved me. Oh, Grant. Oh, Grant, she doesn't love. She devours. And if you don't fit into her world, then you're disposed of. I had no idea that she'd go this far. How far did you think she'd go? She poisoned Lorna. She tried to kill Rachel. Where did you think it would end? She's in pain. She's my mother. Yes, and you're her son. And so is Ryan. Don't you dare sully his name with your breath. You and your mother, 
you make me rage, rage. Do you know how easy this would be? It would be so fucking easy. No. I won't. I won't. Look at me. Listen carefully to me. Listen. I want you to live. I want you to suffer for what you've done. Cowards die many times. Dripping down the walls. And it was so hungry. I know. I can't even tell you. I haven't thought about. Never mind. You don't want to know. No, I do. Actually, I really do. I want to hear about everything, but I want to hear about it later because when we get home, I'm going to throw you the biggest, wildest junk food party <laughs> Bay City has ever seen. You buying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, chocolate wing dings and cheese twirls by candlelight. You really know the way to a girl's heart. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We'll stay up all night and we'll get a whole bunch of crumbs in between the sheets, just you and I. And Kirkland? And Kirkland. Yeah. First off, I want a shampoo, a <laughs> bubble bath, and a manicure. Mm. But after that, I want to take that little baby. I want to cuddle him up. And I'm going to just tuck him in. I'm going to kiss him all over just the way, just the way I dreamed about doing. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like I'm worried? Mm. And then... I just can't wait to crawl into our big bed. I'm gonna feel your body next to me. Listen to your heartbeat. Just feel you breathing. I am never, never gonna let you go. Not ever. Sounds like a great place. I love you, Harrison. I love you, too. But first, the doctors aren't really going to let you get out of here, okay, until you get a few Z's, and uh, they want to pump a few more quarts of bug juice into you. <laughs> oh, come on. You're going to make me sick. Okay. But while you're on the mend, Take care of a few things. I have to sew up a few loose ends. What, what kind of loose ends? Nothing big. Just small stuff. Is it Justine? I mean, did she get away? Mm, it's okay. Don't. I, I. I. I can't tell you. I can't talk about it. All right. What do you mean? You. I, I, what do you mean you can't talk about? It? I mean. Are you still keeping things from me? No, it's Vicky. It's for your own protection. You know, I'm sorry for saying so, but um, you know, it's it's that approach that almost got me killed. I mean, I spent days listening to Justine's plans for Kirkland. So tell me, please, what, what's going on here? Because Ryan, it was all these secrets, you know, in the first place that ended me up in that hellhole, and I, I've got to know if my baby is. He's in some kind of danger. It, uh, the, whole, the whole thing, it was just a no-win situation. Right, for no me. Win. For me. Because I'm the one who lost. I mean, come on. I am not going to let my children be put in this situation again. Not, none of this would have happened had I known that Rachel was really Justine. You'd be lying in this hospital bed if you had just been honest with me. Do you have a twin? Do you know her? Yes. Yes, I do know her. And and we can't we can't let her get away, Maggie. Rachel, what do I do? Call 911 and take care of Dolan. Tell 911 I've gone after Justine. Justine? Who's Justine? 
definitely, definitely draws much better. Well, Joe did a really good job cleaning it. How long do we have to put up with him? Huh? Ryan didn't say. Yeah. I witnessed firsthand what, what Justine can do. Ryan's right, you definitely need somebody. But does it have to be Joe? I mean, when do we get some privacy? I know, I know. I'm not that crazy about it either, but what can we do? Well, we, uh, we'll just work around it. I mean, there's no way he's gonna, he's gonna get in the middle of what I have planned for us. What's that? Well, you'll see. Soon? Very soon, tonight. <laughs> Man, feel like a new man. Shower's all yours, Jake. Thanks a million. Sure. Go ahead, get cleaned up. It's all right, I'll keep an eye on things down here. Let me tell you something, Joe. You want to be a guard dog? Then you build yourself a doghouse outside. Oh. Yeah. Well, look, you know, it's uh, getting time for me to check in anyway. Paulina, I'll uh, see you later. Oh, thanks again for dinner. It was great. <sighs> you no, know, um, would it be okay if I kept this a little longer? No, no problem. Just give a holler. We'll be, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah. Goodbye, Joe. Goodbye. Anything at all? Goodbye. Yeah. I just gave him my handkerchief because he was covered in no, soot. You, you, you don't even have to say anything, okay? You don't have to say anything. Because obviously this guy, this guy is in love with you, and, and who wouldn't be because you are absolutely the most beautiful woman in the world. I mean, you're beautiful, you're smart, you're sexy, and, and uh, I would fight 1,000 Joes to keep you. You can admit it. I mean, go ahead. Feel sorry for him. Yeah, and and I'm back. I'm your husband, and and we are going to pick up right where we left off. Which time? Reno. So, I have a wonderful surprise for you. Why don't you? Yeah, you are beautiful. Why don't you go slip into something a little bit more comfortable and uh, and don't come down until I call you. You guys have a little visit here. I, um, I've got to go tie up a few loose ends, okay? I'll be right back. You're not finished. All right. Thank you for saving our daughter. Thank you. I'm, I'm just glad that she's okay. Yeah, well, well, I am too. I am too. I am so glad you were in her life, and I'll be grateful to you forever. So, uh, um, th thanks, Mike. Thanks. Okay. He said that uh, you were dehydrated. Uh, can I get you a glass of water? <laughs> How do you feel? Cold? No. You want another blanket? No, no, no. Blanket? no, no. Blanket. Are you a nurse? Are you all right? <laughs> I'm just amazed. I heard what you went through, and I am so proud of you. I know that Justine tried to, tried to break your spirit. But she couldn't do it because you're brave like your father. Actually, I wasn't very brave. I was so scared. I didn't think I was going to make it. Beat the odds.
How is she, Ron? She's uh, much better. Much better than a few hours ago. Ah, thank God. Any news of Justine? Uh, not yet, but we've got all of our resources working on it right now. Well, you've had that for weeks. Well, it's the best that I can do right now. It's not enough. Well, it's got to be enough, because that's all I've got. Well, I think it's time we got a few villains out on the job. No. No, we're going to do this within the law, Carl. <laughs> you think she deserves to be given her Miranda rights? Don't turn this whole thing into some personal vendetta, Carl. Look, lad. I agreed to cooperate with you. But I can't. Not anymore. Not if you continue to underestimate this woman. Don't let Justine drag you back into your old life, Carl. I want to nail Justine for everything as well. And I can tell you right now, I am not going to rest until I see Justine brought to justice. Well, I won't rest till I see her dead. Come in. I come only in peace. Is this a bad time? No, it's not a bad time at all. I could use a ceasefire. Come in, sit. I wanted to apologize. Uh, I shouldn't have jumped all over you about Lorna. Ah, forget it. Sit down. She just told me what you're up against. I am sorry. Yeah, it's just another little rough patch. I imagine we'll get through it. Why don't you take a few days off? Why don't you go visit Charlene? No, I wish I could. I can't get any time off. And it seems like the harder I work, the more I miss Charlene. And after that Michael's boy died, I... Makes you want to put your arms around Greg, doesn't it? I saw a lot of children die. In Vietnam, lots of them. And when Ben Michaels died, it all... It all came back. Anger and the frustration. I know it sounds a little strange, but I somehow think that when these things happen, it's because it's a wake up call. Maybe for you and Greg right now. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm really trying to help here. <laughs> you are. You are helping. Just by being here. Believe me, I wish I could talk to everyone the way I talk with you. <laughs> Well, I'm not always such a good listener. I mean, ask Lorna. <laughs> you know what I wish? I wish that I didn't have to wear these. They always make me feel like I'm approaching middle age. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> the world is looking a little young these days. I'd like to go back about 10 years. All right, maybe 20. No. No, you don't have to be anyone but exactly who you are. Well, who I am is somebody that has to open up a bookstore very early tomorrow morning, so I'll say goodnight. No. Don't go. Just stay a while. Well, I hope it's Rachel. She's so eager to meet me. I thought maybe I should have done away with her that very first night. But this will be so much more fun. Don't worry, Kirkland. I'll fix everything. After tonight, Rachel won't interfere with any more of our plans. Now, hang on, little one. Here we go. Woo! Rachel Hutchins. Yes, we're reading you, Rachel. Go ahead, give us your location. I'm following the sea south on, I think it's Route 18. We're approaching the old train depot. I know where you are. I'm on my way. Hurry, Ryan. I'm afraid I'm going to lose her. Mind? 
thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Polina is gonna absolutely just love you. keep your hands off me. You win. Every day, it's something. Hey, thank you. Just set them right down. Said, what did you expect? Justine with a bunch of exploding pansies? Just doing my job. You said something, Joe. Why don't you do your job someplace else? Henry, come on in. Uh, merci, Whoa. Monsieur Jake. Uh, Hold the phone. Oh, man, too much garlic, but no arsenic. Paysan, this dish made Henri four star. Oh, yeah. Say, oh, oh, now, come on in. He's leaving. Uh, listen, Joe, since you're going to play doorman here, uh, I'm expecting a couple more deliveries. Mm -hmm. No problem. I'll take care of them. You will? Great. Yeah. Ah, one, two. Why don't you spread it around? It's going to be a special night. <laughs> See you in a few hours, okay? Okay. Never thought I could miss the sunshine so much. I'm never going to take anything for granted again. And I am definitely going to try to be a better person. You are already everything I could ever want in a dog. Me too. Tell me about the transplant. It took. Well, it, it seems that your brother has um, all the right stuff. Are we really all better? Almost, yeah. He promised me that yeah. once you were found, he would start listening to his doctors again. Mm -hmm. You haven't been? Well, you know me. Yeah, yeah I know you. <laughs> well, I'm found, so... You better get used to taking orders again. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Check in with your doctor. Why do I get the feeling I'm being dismissed? Because you are. Only because I love you so very much. I love you too. <laughs> hey. Hmm. I knew you wouldn't die. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the same thing about you. Go now, just to please Victoria and check with my doctor, okay? Yeah, and you will please me, too. Well, see, there you go. After all this, I haven't lost the ability to please the women in my life. That's, that's pretty remarkable. Can I use your phone? Uh, no. I want to, I, I want to call Bridget. You can call Bridget tomorrow. No, 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 no. no. I want to see Kirkland. There, Kirkland. You take care of me right back. Oh, this really is too simple. Rachel? Over here. It's like a moth to a plane. Catch me if you can. <laughs> squeaky little thing kissed me here and here. And now that we've met, I'm afraid I really must be. No, no, wait. Please wait. No, no. Ah, no. Planning suicide, are we? Well, I really can't blame you, since you see now that you are so easily replaced. Did you really think you could take over my life and get away with it? Well, I have done, haven't I? But I found your pathetic little life excruciatingly boring. The only pleasure I achieved is when I seduced Carl. 
I merely took back what was already mine. I shouldn't call it a seduction, though, because he initiated it. No. No, he wouldn't. He knew it was you all along. He was hungry for me, so he had me. <laughs> over and over and over and over. I got here as fast as I could. What's going on, Maggie? Carl, Lucy. Lucy. You're home. What's happened here? Justine was here. She what? She had me in some Vulcan death grip. I lost consciousness, and Maggie found me on the floor. Where is she? Where I, is she? I have no idea, but she's gone. Rachel, where's Rachel? Rachel went after her. She what? What, alone? Where'd she go? Where'd they go? Well, who knows? I, I was out, cold. It happened so fast. Maggie, did you see them leave? Rachel told me to stay with Lucy and call 911. How long ago did this happen? Oh, what time is it? An, an hour ago, what? maybe more? Look, there's cops all over the estate. They're searching the entire lakefront. How could you let this happen, Lucy? That's what you were here for, woman. Mr. Hutchins, I am lucky to be alive. Yes, you are. Look, there are roadblocks up all over the place. They have probably apprehended Justine by now. Probably. Probably. Get Ryan on your radio. Come on. I can't. My unit is gone. What are you saying? You stole them? No, no. Rachel took it. Carl knew exactly who I was, Rachel. And he made love to me. Every inch of me. There was no mistake. And his passion made up for all those years. We were apart. You're lying. Oh, wouldn't it be pretty to think so? No. No, Carl told me he couldn't stand to be in the same room with you. He couldn't stand to look at you, much less touch you. He wasn't your lover. Oh, but he was. You're insane to do anything to destroy me. You're insane. Insane. After the entree, not before, and you will not dress it in, until you're about to serve it, okay? Yes, sir. Uh, did she swallow an ice? Exactly as you requested, Mr. McKinnon. Thank you. Oh, the flambe crepes. When, when we do those, I want a big flame. Big, 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 big. As, as you wish. Packing. Where's Brad? Easy, does it. Could have been a Smith and Wesson. Yeah. Very nice. May I go now? Sure. Oh. <laughs> this way. Marty's in here. He's just leaving. All right, everybody's here. So? So that means I don't want to see your nose pressed up against the window. I don't want to hear you. I don't even want to imagine you breaking into this party. You got that? Your tie's crooked. Huh? Your tie's crooked. 
Critique. Ah, my critique. Mm -hmm. Well, my first impression still stands. You're very gifted. <laughs> well, for the genre fiction, maybe. I, uh, everything else really does intimidate me. Oh, really I does. see. Into the Fire wasn't a bestseller? Well, all right. I will get you your own autograph copy. Thank you. Uh-huh. This is, um, this is very new for me. Reading books written by someone I know. Very new. I, I can't believe that you actually enjoyed reading a romance novel. Why should that surprise you? Maybe you're missing Charlene more than you know. <laughs> You know what impressed me most? The way you wrote about loneliness. When I was in Vietnam, I really hit overload, and, and I let my mind wander. And I, I started thinking about a perfect world, a perfect day, a perfect hour, minute. We all wish for moments like that, I think. You know, I know it sounds silly, but I... I like to think that... I inspire people to create those moments. Mm. I mean, of course, on a very subconscious level. Mm -hmm. well, your characters live very... fantastic lives, but underneath, they're very normal. I like that. I really am so surprised. Why? I know, I know it's all fictional, but believe me, they're... Emotions are very real, real jealousy, fear, real desire, and real passion. Well, I just thought that this whole thing would really embarrass you. Because I'm a man, right? Well, you know, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> certainly part of it, and then... Uh... Shut up, Felicia. You know what I think? What? I think you have just scratched surface what you really want to say about people. Oh, please, John. I am never going to write the great American novel, believe me. I'm sorry. No. Don't be. Don't be sorry. And I won't say that you are a very beautiful and very intriguing Rachel wouldn't have done that, Justine. 
Another World fan, if you can't wait till next week to find out what's happening on your favorite soap, then call NBC Soap Phone right now. Dial 1-900-680-4NBC. Each call costs $1 per minute. <laughs>